Terima kasih. Dude, we don't have like we don't have any comfy chairs. The only thing yeah. we're missing is the beer and the feet. So, the most impressive thing about the sunset, the most impressive thing, is the eye track. I'm not even kidding. Shut up. That's like too much technology, bro. Yeah, talking about eye eye tracking, man. Meaning, what's going on with this? Like this type of sensors. I don't. This sort of magical is a technology like that makes the device yeah, expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 it's, it's basically. I mean, it's and it's it's, it's with that kind of technology and with AI included, right. it's predicting what you are going to be doing. Where you're going to be correct, looking, correct. what you're going to be looking at, so it will enhance whichever way you're looking, and mm. it will, you know, make it better. Right. Right. So is this inside? You can see all of that. So now you can choose which one with your eyes. Exactly. You don't even need to use a mask. You're yes, looking that. at this, and it will highlight. That's crazy, though. Yeah, it has emotions. Yeah. And one question, Claude. Um, you know, talking about eyes, mm-hmm. iris. Our brain, you know, mm. is not really connected to our eye. Did you know that? The brain? Really? Yeah, so it's a separate UI part UI of, you know, has of the our system mm-hmm. that doesn't belong to the brain. So it's just wires connected to, to our central nervous system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, yeah, of course, it's, a, this, this, it's all receptors. Exactly. It's all receptors. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's like part of a vehicle. No, but that, and, like, and this 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 kind of technology is like an extension of that. You know what I mean? It's like they're trying to. It's it's literally adding on. It's literally what that guy is trying to do as well. Elon Musk with his neural link thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. They're trying to enhance human capabilities. You know what I mean? But I don't think I will get a chip in my body. No, but thank the point you. is, imagine our eyes mm. has its own mind. Mm. It's sending information just to bring. If I, if I will be seeing a light that blinks, mm. my eye will just absorb it and send signal to the brain. Yeah. So you can actually I mean, just switch to the different interpretation, whatever you see. That's why, no, but I mean, that's why, that's why there's, I mean, people that are colorblind right. or people that are, I don't know, people that have eye defects because there's a, there's a receptor issue. Exactly. Between the eye and the and the brain, so it's not recognizing either color or shape or something like that. I mean, that's why we wear glasses. You know? That's why we wear spectacles. I I have I have what do you call that? An astigmatism. Mm-hmm. So the fact that I'm wearing glasses regulates what I see and how far I see it and all of that. Because if I don't if I don't wear it, then <laughs> the picture will move back or it'll come close. You know what I mean? So I have to I have to wear it. Just to regulate it. And the interesting part of that, imagine your mm-hmm. eyes is just absorbing it. Yeah, yeah, it's it, just your brain interpreting interpreting all these visuals. Is this is this Facebook's thing? You know, you could see Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah, this so is this is Facebook's is he one. part of that. No, no, I is think this is their that? own one. This is their own one. Facebook's own one. Yeah, that's right. They have their own thing. Goggles, yeah, they have their own. And thing. they have Ray Bans. Yeah. Did you see that? The Ray Bans. But can they you just bo- we play that clip. They, they, it's quite funny because Mark Zuckerberg looks like not part of that. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they're like in the uh, inside the <laughs> uh, inside the the picture. virtual world. Yeah, no, but he, he they have their it's own not, thing. Spoiler alert: It's not actually trans. We need to get like one of this and review it. But that's oh, not the thing. Man. You know what I mean? Because look how crisp the video quality is. Uh, is this really providing that much quality? No, I don't think no? so. Sure. I think they. Yeah. Wait. Of course, usually it's like black plastic or something like that. So in order to see through to your actual environment without taking the headset off, like they're picking up your. Headset, Why is he there? Look at Mars Zuckerberg, man. He's, he's, he, they have he looks like it doesn't. So they'll turn on a camera on the outside. So this is like he, he, he's like a. And yeah. Some customers are better than others. Some will do it from a single. Look at that. Some will do stereo pass through two cameras. This audio thing is it's just lighting, probably. My mind's just giving a different visual. Real time. 
Really good. So then the eyes you see from the outside are actually an OLED display no. showing what your eyes look like to the cameras inside the headset. So That's it shows your eyes crazy. Like you so it's actually showing your eyes outside, but it's a display. It's not real. Like looking at someone's eyes, but it kind of feels like you are. It's the simplest way to <laughs> VR, like watching a movie. That's what I like about that. Uh, look, man, we are living in the future, right? We are definitely living in the future. But you, does it need to be plugged all the time, or you just you can just do it wirelessly? I think it's wireless. Okay, look at his background. He's sitting on that corner that I mentioned. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's just to create the dimension. The depth. That's all the depth, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always like I've noticed yeah, most. Most of them you can see. Most of the most of them nowadays are doing that. It's not a being flat type of back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a first gen product. So right now the only apps that show up on the home screen mm -hmm. are Apple's apps. Just like when the first iPhone came out, no app stores, just Apple's apps. But the reason this is coming out, or at least getting announced so early, but it's not coming out. Tomorrow. Oops. It's able for you to be a developer that's part of this Google. Mm. Of course, you need to have a device like that, enable for you to test and run them. They they always they always they always. I mean, they I know they do beta testing for all the, all of the products maybe six months to a year before they release it. You know, so that they can iron out any kinks, any problems, any issues like that. They do they do it. They do beta testing for quite a while. It's like your stuff like the COVID vaccine. They should have done that. <laughs> they should have done the testing on the COVID vaccine, but they didn't. Um but for this stuff they will do, you know. Like I got a buddy of mine, he does he does all like well he doesn't do the testing, but like when any new games come out, he always gets the beta version. Yeah. First and he, he like that they they play it for I don't know how long and then uh, like then the games are released you know you know what I like about this it will really help a lot of engineers you know architects mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. designers to really improve yeah. how they will see no I mean like you look at perspective look at, of each you look you know, at you look at um, like I, I, I think I mentioned to you before that there was an AI where they tell you how they can design the the rooms. Um, I forgot the name. Um, but I, yeah, I want to check. I want to check if we can get that pull that up. But there's like an AI application that you can uh, use to look at designing your room. You know. I forget where it is. Okay. Uh, moving forward, Lord. Yeah, uh, next one. Next you've one, seen next the one. cyber trap that uh, no, no, no. Rogan I, I, try to I know, saw, test if it's gonna. But I didn't. No, I, I mean, he was I using his boat for hours. What do we call the boat? A cyber trap. He challenged uh, Elon Musk if he could get pass through his arrow on his oh, really? cyber trap. But yeah, we can is it this that one? Out. Yeah, that's the one. Try to shoot an arrow. Yeah. Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> what so is like what is he doing? How tough the, ah, the armor the, of that? The last time, the last time they were trying to, they broke the windows or something like this. Yeah. Let's look on this clip. It's a Halloween thing, man. It's very funny. Did he get high again? Is he smoking weed again? <laughs> he is, isn't he? That's probably just the tobacco. That ah, it's a cigar. It's a cigar. A cigar. Yeah. That's what I'm actually aiming for, the hair color like that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Beast mode. Listen to the names. It's an option, man. You like that's your yeah. 
they're taking a Tommy gun into the side of the car. Um, a shotgun, again. 45 and a 9mm, and no penetrations. No penetrations, man. And that's, they come, it comes that way from the factory. Can I try with an arrow? Shit. That's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, then I can crossbow might. I have a 90 pound compound bow that shoots 500. Oh, shit. 300 feet. With a I think an razor sharp broadhead. I wish I had it with me. Uh, <laughs> is it at your house? Yeah. Should we send someone to go get it? Just give me a demo that would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a challenge, huh? So good. Yeah, but you really? Yeah, but you don't. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think if, if you have a, a crossbow that's with, with enough force. So he's already using a cyber truck. Ah, uh, uh, so he says a crossbow, yes, but not a bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Yeah, that's no, no, crossbow could. Crossbow is different. Yeah. But yeah, but that's what but he says. A bow and arrow, maybe not. A crossbow could, but a bow and arrow, not. It's yeah, different. Faster. But that's more faster. That's what he's like. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing that matters is kind of the energy per unit area. Oh, I don't know. Um, it's interesting, like, like a 9mm like a or 45, which is basically sort of a 10mm. Um, the, the, the 45 is. They're roughly the same. The forty-five actually is slightly worse penetration than the You know what? I just realized I do have some broadheads. I do have some broadheads, and I have a less powerful bow. But I have an eighty pound bow. Right, right. Yeah. I think we should do it. Absolutely. Okay. And you want to do it right now? Yeah, we can do it right now. Do <laughs> they, uh, they literally did it. Oh, he's driving the car himself. He brought it with him. I think that's the cool thing about it because he's already oh, using it. It's not, a, it's not a photo prototype anymore. Oh shit! But this guy, he's close to it though. What's it made of? Because if it's quite far, it might not hit that hard, you know. Oh, it snapped the thing. There's some tension. It snapped it. It went through. That's the most important part. Look, it snapped the arrow. That's crazy. Thank you. I think that's yeah. So uh, we uh, just shot an arrow. Yep. That's it. That's right. Yeah. It's probably moving 275 feet a second. That was a 525 grain ish arrow. With, uh, yeah, even more than that because it had the 125 grain head. So that was 545 grains. That's impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. It just destroyed the broadhead, the broadhead flat at the tip. And then the arrow blew apart. That's crazy, yeah? Yeah, it's uh, like I said, you could um, we have a, a, a cool video we'll um, see if Tommy got But now, when are they launching it? Sure, you know, when they're launching next, it next a month or two. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. And you built it like this just for fun? Well, I mean, uh, it's cooler? I mean, because you can. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, trucks are supposed to be tough, right? Yeah. Boom. So, is your truck bulletproof? No, my eyes are fine. You know, if I shot mine with my, my bow, right? All right. So, if, if, you, if you shoot any normal car, unlike in the movie, uh, the car door is basically, uh, uh, so uh, if you if you shoot a gun at a kid through it, through like a regular truck, it'll go, out, it'll go through both doors. Mm. So, um, it's, it, you can't hide behind a straight car door like they do in the movie. Mm. But you know, yeah, do you know in Dubai, the Tesla cars there are using this for cabs right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen no, some I, I, I mean, when the Teslas came out, they were you. I saw them being used as um, what do you call this? Uh, airport taxi. 
before. Right, right. right. It's quite a luxurious thing. Now it's yeah. being used as an RTA tech. Like literally that was awesome, used, isn't it? Oh, literally but, being used as an RTA tech. Yeah, it's crazy. Hold of that taxi when it's I'm gonna crazy. go for it. Because you know, have you have you been to a Tesla then? Have I have I driven in one? No, no, no. I just just rode on it. No, no, like it's a in passenger, a, right? No, no, no. Oh, I yeah. haven't. I haven't. I haven't. What is this Tesla like an SUV thing? The Tesla Y is that what it's called? Tesla Y, right? Model no, they have a Model S. I think that's the SUV version, right? No, the no. one. I not sure. The one that you could see. At the... the one that has those doors that open like yeah, that. like an SUV type. Is that well? It's like SUV really? It's more like a. What do they call it? Uh, we can check it out. I I I was, I was in Jumeirah that time, and I. Uh, there's I had no, an experience with my. Ah, uh, yes, a friend. model model Y, oh model X, God. model S. Let's have a look at that. It was amazing how it could feel. Ah, uh, this one. The silence, yeah. That's the one, bro. It's the S, yeah. The silence inside a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Why? Look at the license plate. Yeah, uh, that's what I was actually talking about. It's this like an SUV. Type of yeah, it's a big, it's a bigger, it's a bigger version. Right, right now we are in uh, UAE, Dubai Self Center, where we put the team testing for Tesla. The climate here is, is special. That's crazy. Also, it's part of the reason why we're doing testing here. We are focusing mainly on mileage accumulation hot weather related tests as well as public launch testers. So we like to test these cars here. Uh, we also do the same in Norway during the winter. The main goal of this test is to make sure that these vehicles will survive at both extreme... Wow, that's crazy, yeah? Look at the doors. Safe like. for every conditions we have uh, in between these two. Ah, you were driving in it? No, 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 no. I, I was just passenger because I have a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Do you know a place called... Was... Like, I mean, it's... It's yeah, uh, this year, actually. It's, 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 it's crazy, man. See? The it's technology so... and this thing. It's like... Who is this? This is at... Uh, Rast, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Jebel... Jebel... Rast, yeah, Jebel Jets? Yeah. That's okay, you can try this out, man. You can just probably rent it out. You can rent one, yeah? You can rent one. The thrill of driving. Yeah. Yeah. You can rent it. It's always super hot. Extreme humidity, extreme heat. Earlier today, it was 51 degrees. It's pretty hot. You don't really find this anywhere else in the world. It can be very dusty one day, so we can have sandstorms or dust storms. Yeah, it's crazy. 100% humid. Actually, it in the sand, huh? Yeah, because it's, it's, a, it's a SUV. The drive units and it's a four-wheel drive. It's really important to keep the passengers cool. So we'll charge the car numerous times. We'll use the AC as much as possible. We'll use cabin overheat protection. We'll uh, they're just collecting vehicle. data. That's all they're doing, pretty much, huh? But they're using charge. that kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. They uh, But they're collecting a lot of uh, so data. We want to take the car that's most likely to suffer. We're trying to find everything that will impact the customer. Hey, I need to get down. Yeah. Twenty minutes actually. I we we end, huh? time. I could just get it there. Yeah. But we will end it on a an EV vehicle, so that's quite awesome. Uh, yeah. Because we used to discuss that before, you know, the uh, Haval thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we were talking about the car, no, the Haval and this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are not fixed now. Yes, I think they are. I think they have. I think they have uh, EV options as well. Um, but here in, in Dubai, that works well. I mean, the yeah. infrastructure is good enough for it to to, to, to thrive. But for me, and for us in South Africa, I don't think it's very good. Uh, shortage of electricity. There's not many charging points. Uh, so it doesn't make sense to have a, to have an EV in South Africa. If here, yeah. If you would check an app. Uh, where all the electric chargers are, you, know, you can see a lot of even, even so, I think even even if you have that, even if you have that, 
The yeah. fact that if you're going to be going into that area at that, on that day at that specific time, mm-hmm. there might be a blackout. That's scary. So you know, how are you going to charge it? Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't have that schedule. Maybe if you have that schedule, but like who wants to go through that hassle of having to check, 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 check? We don't want to happen that in Dubai, man, especially in the summertime. There's no, it's no way that that will happen here. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know. That's what it doesn't. But no way. There's no way that it will happen. Like I mean, I look at, I look at, I look at the way Dubai builds itself, and mm. every area you look at, it has a electrical substation before they build. Like you saw, I mean, you, you know, in, by the hotel where, yeah. where in Dera, they are making that substation mm-hmm. bigger because of that area that they're developing there. You know, so any new area that comes out. Is uh, this electrical uh, substation? Yeah, we might want to go for another one before we end this. I, well, I need to, I need you, to have, you need to go. I need to get okay, done, then. bro. I just next okay, time. guys, thank anyway, you very much again. Thanks, guys, uh, for joining. Take it you. easy. See you guys. Uh. Bye bye.